How you doing guys? I'm Sean. Welcome to Rambles with my camera. Guys, today's Ramble, today's video, day 28 of my 30 day photography and video vlog challenge. Happy days. We're nearly there guys. Um, you've endured this here journey long enough. And as I say, tell you one more day to go. So today's video, I'm going to be talking about the prize giveaway. Uh, for just we thank. It's a wee small gift just to thank these guys for taking time out and to watch these videos. I know it's understandable you couldn't get watched them all, but the fact that you're dipping into the videos, um, it's really, really um, appreciative of it. So thank you so much. So what I'm going to do is going to do we draw very shortly, tell you how to do it, how to enter it. Uh, but can I start off also what has came today, which is absolutely fantastic, getting your plans for the weekends. It's Friday here. Um, my good friend Jim Leonard, now you may be familiar, I've done a, a video with Jim, God, it must have been last year. We actually met through the channel and we've got a great friendship ever since, you know what I mean? So we would shoot street to photography together. But Jim has produced a wee book there of his photographs taken in a Holga uh, 120 camera. If you're not familiar with the Holga cameras, it's actually, they came out in the 80s, around about the 1980s, and like a plastic camera and they were like cheap, affordable uh, cameras to introduce photography into the masses, so to speak. And they've become a bit of a, like a bit of a kitsch thing, the, the collectors between the, the stills, the, the film photographers, Jim shoots film as well as digital, but he's mad on film photography. He's great in the architecture. His street photography is fantastic, and as I say, that the check out. I'm going to put all the links down below. But anyway, Jim has produced a wee book. There, a limited edition, of fifty copies. I've got two of them. I know they're selling out. They'll probably have sold out by the time he watches. But I'll put the links down below. I'd consider purchases very, very, very. I don't like the term cheap, affordable. We hit by using the term cheap, you make cheap in the item, and the photography in it is absolutely fantastic. And uh, I'll put all the links down below, go and check them out. It's a limited edition. This edition here is his first edition, it's limited to 50, and I'm sure he'll be bringing out other editions. So if you miss this first edition, get the second edition. It's good to support a photographer, it's good to support a friend, but his photography, I wouldn't be recommending this if I didn't think his photography stood, um, stood up. They're actually brilliant, they've got a great old feel to them. Uh, the square format, medium format, and they say the quality to the, the images is brilliant. He's almost captured. Um, now, this is a larger body of work that he has, and he's took a selection of images out. I think it's 17 in total is in this book. Um, so, as I say, I'll put the links down below, check it out. I'm so excited uh, to get two copies, uh, one for myself and one for another friend there. So, um, absolutely fantastic. Well done, Jim. And I'll put links. Jim has a YouTube channel as well. I'll put it up above and you see some of his work there, okay? So guys, this video, um, the draw, thanks again everybody for all your love and support um, on this here wee bit of a, to get me back in the swing of making the films again. So what I'm going to do is, a couple of you have contacted me and said that you may not be here for today's video or tomorrow's video and I was initially going to be doing, the, you know, getting used to put a comment on this video here today and I was going to do a draw tomorrow but because several of you have commented and said you aren't going to be here for the weekend, I thought to myself, you know, there's other people there also who will not be able to be. So what I'm going to do is, if you're watching this video today, um, leave a comment uh, down below that, uh, yes, include me in. You can use any terminology you want. But I'm going to put up six photographs, numbers one to six, and say, yes, count me in, and I'll take number, let's say, number three. The photograph we're looking at now will be number one. So say you want to say, yes, count me in, I would take number one, somebody else wants number two, blah, 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 blah. And then what I'm going to do with all your names at, on today's video, I'm going to put it into the draw. And I'm going to do a video tomorrow, obviously, the last day. I'm going to mention it again. You don't have to put your name down twice. I'll know which it is. And then anybody else who comes along sees that, I'll put their names in and what photograph they want. And I'll give it one week. So then the following week, so the following weekend, I'll do a draw out of all the names. And if your name comes up, the photograph you want, I'll get that printed up and get it mounted, sign it, and uh, send it off to you. Okay, so I know it's only a small gesture. It's just to thank you so much. So here's a photograph. So this one here obviously was taken in West Belfast, and um, this is part of the exhibition. Okay, I've been in contact with them two young kids. Are they now adults? It was taken around about the early 90s. And uh, it's a place called Clannard, and they say Odessa Street here. So it's that one, number one. And uh, let me see. 
This one here, around about 1986, um, down, would have been 86, would have been that far. Probably early 90s, maybe late 80s, um, down distillery. See, that's a housing estate where I grew up. Okay, that's number two. Number three is one of my one of my favourite photographs, but most people really love this photograph. This is a uh, four for street in West Belfast. Okay, so number three. Just double check these numbers. One, two, three. Okay, number three is four for street. Number four, at down the Falls Road, just kids in the swings. What I liked about this one here is is that. You know, it's, it's happy enough you're doing a swing on a rope. But, uh, you know, you can see it's like a bonfire or something there. Like if the kid fell, it would be bad enough, but the fall on top of that. So I think it adds to it. Number five, these are two kids, a uh, candid shot um, taken in Cavendish Street area of West Belfast, mid-90s. I just thought because the kid was so dressed up, it's like a Sunday best type thing. And the wee kid there on the left, the wee blonde haired kid, she's sitting burning like a piece of twine you know, on the farther, it could be her older sister, reaching out to tell her to stop being careful, the hands out stretch, that's another one. Okay. And this last one here is a wee man, this is, um, down in, this one here is down in Dunville Park, um, and as they say, I think there's a character. It looks like the photograph was taken in the 1950s, but it was just a wee local man, he used to sit, if you can see the railings there, people, Bent them down so they could sit on it because the park became a haven. Uh, now, not saying this man is because this man was living in the corner, but it became a haven for people, young people drinking and things like that. And they've got to bash down the railings so they get a comfortable seat. So, you go. So, guys, listen, leave a comment in the comments below. Say yes, count me in, or yes, I want in, or I want the photograph. Photograph and then pick a number. Whatever number you pick, then you don't have to do it tomorrow's video. I'll make a similar each announcement to my last video, I'll add something else to it. And then next weekend I will do the draw and then hopefully you'll win. But listen, even if you don't win, I think you're all winners to me and I wish I could give you all photographs, but obviously financially I couldn't. But I am so grateful, giving you all my love because I genuinely appreciate you doing it. I'm going to be heading down now to Sheena's. I've got friends coming over for a meal tonight. Really looking forward to it. Not looking forward to the 10 mile cycle and saying that, but uh, I'm looking forward to the meal. I'm going to spend the weekend with Sheena and her boys, the cats. It's absolutely fantastic and a lovely meal tonight. So, guys, listen, thank you again for watching. Send your love from Belfast. As I say, pick a photograph you want, make a comment down below, and that's it. And I'll do a draw next week. And I really appreciate all your love, all your support on this channel. Thank you for enduring the 30 day challenge. And I'll talk more about that tomorrow. Guys, send your love from Belfast. And thanks again for watching.